Greetings tech and gaming fans, Edge Runners is back with the latest updates you don't want to miss. In today's episode, AMD's innovative patent could transform chip manufacturing with glass substrates, Intel's Arc Battlemage GPUs are nearing launch, and Samsung is pushing boundaries with a 500Hz OLED gaming panel. In addition, big updates on the Witcher series and Nvidia's AI for audio creation, and more. Prepare a cup of your favorite tea, settle in, and let's kick things off. First up, AMD has obtained patent, which outlines the use of glass substrates in semiconductor manufacturing. The company has been working on this technology since 2021, and this patent allows AMD to incorporate glass substrates into its processes without the threat of legal challenges from competitors or patent trolls. Glass substrates are composed of materials such as borosilicate glass, quartz, and fused silica. This technology brings several advantages over traditional organic materials. Notably, glass substrates offer exceptional flatness, dimensional stability and superior thermal and mechanical properties, all of which improve product quality and increase resistance to overheating. It is expected that glass substrates will gradually replace traditional materials in chip manufacturing in the coming years. Other major semiconductor companies, including Intel and Samsung, are also exploring this technology, suggesting that it could become a significant innovation in the industry. What potential challenges do you see for AMD in adopting glass substrates? Share your thoughts in the comments. In gaming news, Ubisoft has reportedly requested Valve to stop publishing concurrent player counts for its games on Steam. This comes after concerns over disappointing player engagement with titles like Star Wars Outlaws, which saw a peak of only 800 concurrent players at launch. Ubisoft's concern is that these public stats could damage the reputation of their high-budget AAA titles. It raises interesting questions about the role of transparency in game metrics, especially when it comes to investor relations. Valve's response to Ubisoft's request remains unclear, but it shows the growing tensions between game publishers and platforms regarding player data. Moving to Intel, there's growing evidence that its next-generation Arc Battlemage GPUs will be released by the end of the year. Recent mentions on Intel's official website and reports from ZDNet have confirmed the imminent launch. The GPUs are expected to utilize Intel's XE2 architecture, bringing notable improvements in performance and efficiency. Early product listings for ASRock's Arc B580 GPUs have also appeared on Amazon, hinting at retail distribution. However, there's no sign yet from major board partners like Asus or MSI, so initial availability may be limited. The Arc Battlemage series is set to compete in the mid-range and high-end GPU markets, so we'll have to wait and see how it fares against the competition. Nvidia has introduced Fugato, a new AI model focused on music and audio creation. This model allows users to generate sound effects or music based on text descriptions. For example, it can transform the sound of a piano into a human voice or change an instrument's sound to resemble a barking dog. Fugato also has voice transformation capabilities, enabling the modification of speech tone, accent, and emotional expression. While Nvidia acknowledges the potential of Fugato in creative fields, the company has expressed caution about the technology's wider release due to potential ethical concerns such as misuse for copyright infringement or violating legal restrictions. CD Projekt Red has announced that the next entry in the Witcher series, codenamed Polaris, has officially entered full development. For a long time, the project had been in the pre-production phase, focused on planning and preparation. However, development is now actively underway. As of October 2024, around 400 employees at CD Projekt Red are working on the game, representing a significant portion of the studio's workforce, though not all of it. In a statement, CD Projekt Red expressed confidence in the project, noting the dedication and talent of their team. Details about the new Witcher game remain scarce. What is known is that the company plans to create a new trilogy in the Witcher series, with Polaris being the first game in that trilogy. The game is being developed using the Unreal Engine 5, ensuring that the graphics will meet high standards. As for the release date, CD Projekt Red has not yet revealed when Polaris will be available. How do you feel about the shift to Unreal Engine 5 for the Witcher series? Share your thoughts in the comments. ASRock has released a new version of the Intel Platform Power Management driver for motherboards using the LGA1851 socket. This driver update has shown a potential gaming performance improvement of up to 13.2% for Intel's Core Ultra 200K processors, specifically the Core Ultra 285K. Benchmark results using Final Fantasy Dawn Trail revealed an increase in the built-in benchmark score from 29,157 points to 33,017 points with the updated driver. While ASRock emphasized the the importance of this update for gaming performance, they acknowledged that these results were based on a single game and may not represent performance gains across all titles. 
Samsung Display is reportedly in the final stages of developing the world's first OLED panel capable of supporting an impressive 500Hz refresh rate. According to South Korean media, the new display will feature QD OLED technology and will have a QHD resolution. This panel is expected to be launched as part of Samsung's entry into the gaming market with the new display technology likely to be featured not only in Samsung's own monitors but also available to other manufacturers through OEM partnerships. This would allow third-party brands to incorporate the 500Hz OLED panel into their own products. The growing demand for OLED displays is being driven by the increasing demands of advanced gaming graphics with OLED technology providing faster response times, deeper blacks, and vibrant colors. As the graphics quality in gaming continues to improve, analysts predict a significant rise in the market share of OLED monitors over the next few years. Currently, the fastest OLED monitor on the market is the LG Ultra Gear, which offers a QHD resolution and a 480 hertz refresh rate. However, the upcoming 500 hertz panel from Samsung is expected to surpass this, offering an even smoother and more responsive gaming experience. The analyst Moore's Law is Dead has released a new video discussing the launch timeline for NVIDIA Blackwell and AMD RDNA 4 graphics cards. He addressed recent rumors, including the claim that NVIDIA might release new GPUs before CES 2025. According to his sources, NVIDIA is firmly planning to unveil its flagship GeForce RTX 5090 and upper mid-range GeForce RTX 5080 at CES 2025, with a full release scheduled just a few weeks after the official announcement. The insider also mentioned that the GeForce RTX 5090's recommended price could be lower than previous leaks suggested. Additionally, the GeForce RTX 4070 will be announced before the end of January 2025. Regarding AMD, the video confirms that RDNA 4 graphics cards will definitely be showcased at CES 2025, and at least one of these GPUs will be available for purchase by the end of January 2025. This timeline gives a clear indication of when we can expect both companies to launch their next-generation GPUs use, with major announcements happening at CES and retail availability coming shortly afterward. A few weeks ago, AMD released the Ryzen 9 800X3D, an 8-core processor that quickly became one of the fastest gaming CPUs and a popular choice among consumers worldwide. However, AMD is still in the process of releasing new desktop processors in its Zen 5 lineup and is preparing for the launch of two additional high-performance models, the 16-core Ryzen 9950X3D and the 12-core Ryzen 9 900X3D. While AMD has not yet officially disclosed the release dates for these upcoming processors, an insider known as Huang Anpu has provided information regarding approximate launch timelines. According to the source, these processors are expected to be available by the end of January 2025. Additionally, the insider mentioned that both the Ryzen 9950X3D and Ryzen 9 900X3D will feature a single CCD with 3DV cache technology, a key feature designed to improve gaming and compute performance by increasing cache capacity. This insider has a track record of providing accurate release date information for AMD products. For example, they previously disclosed the exact launch date of the Ryzen 9 800X 3D, which matched the actual release. Thanks for watching our latest gaming and tech roundup. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest updates. Are you planning to upgrade to the Ryzen 9000X 3D? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.